how's it going guys um thank you for watching this tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial fontaine by zach Mueller. it's a great effect that's been out for uh over a year and i know a lot of you guys really wanted a tutorial for it and um so let's just go over how to do the effect so you can incorporate the move itself into your arsenal and create with your own create your own routine um, for the effect so let's get right into it so before I show you how this effect works, uh, I'm going to show you a performance of all the different little tips and tricks uh, of Fontaine, and then I will get on with the tutorial. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So you can take uh, three cards from the top of the pack. We're only going to need these three for now. Uh, in this case, we've got a Joker and the two Red Jacks. Okay. And uh, we'll leave the Joker in the middle, two Red Jacks face down. And with just a little wave, the uh, Joker actually causes itself to disappear. And uh, we still have two Red Jacks. Okay, so uh, version number two, you want to take uh, the, again, the three cards, and that's all you will be needing, so here, take the joker to the uh, side, and here, we'll leave it just like this, okay? Now, uh, we'll take a jack, a joker, and a um, third jack, and just a little shake. The uh, Joker actually flips itself uh, face down, and to get it back, just a little shake. The card actually reveals itself again. Here's the third and final performance I'm going to be showing you, uh, and I'll show you how these three are done. Take a Jack, the Joker, and the Jack, leave them all face up, just with a little shake. The card actually of itself face down and then you can show two red jacks now that you've seen those three performances i'll show you how to do each and every one of them make this a pretty detailed tutorial so you guys can get the most out of this trick and uh hopefully um you can advance after this trick and create your own routine with this and have a uh, 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 a good routine. So let's get started with the tutorial of Fontaine by Zach. Okay, so uh, for this phase, you want to take out the, um, I guess, any two of the same card and then a Joker. Okay, in this case, I'm using the two Red Jacks and a Joker. Pause the video and do this and then resume. So once you have that, you can set the rest of the deck to the side, leaving only these three cards. You can, if you want, flip the Joker face down, or you can have it so the Joker is the only face up card. Just leave it in the middle. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to grasp a card like this with your middle finger and thumb, just like this on the sides and the rest of the fingers free. You're going to line it up with the second card, grab, and line it up with the third card and grab so it's about this much um, distance from each other. When you have that, here's the position you're going to be in. It's very knacky, just like Zach Mueller said, and it will take some getting used to. Um, this caused extreme cramping the first time I did this. But from the front, here's what it looks like. You're going to take your middle finger and put it just like this over the three cards. Thumb goes along the side, just like that. So that's, that's it, and then from the back side, your, your ring finger is going, the, the um, top phalange, that finger, is going to be touching the joker, okay? So uh, it looks like this. For me, it sort of helps if I actually put this middle finger a little bit farther. However, it does look nicer if you keep it more squared with the deck, except for 
that causes extreme cramping. So this is sort of what I do. Hang the uh, middle finger over, keep your uh, index finger pointed, and thumb very close lined up. Once you have the, and then your pinky will just hang down like this. Or once you have this hand uh, grip, practice this because this you're going to need this hand grip for the whole entire trip trick. Once you practice that and you got it down, um, come back to this tutorial and I'll show you how to do the effect. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Okay, so you're still here. Uh, either you learned how to do this comfortably or uh, you're just staying to see what the rest of the tutorial will look like. So you're in this position with the three cards just like so. And as you're shaking, your hand, the your ring finger is just simply dragging the card back. And you want to have it so it's out jogged a little bit on the side. However, your palm will cover that as you're shaking. And then if you want, you can just squirt up with your palm like he shows you. However, I'm not very comfortable with that. So I just, as I'm going to show the two cards, I just take these two fingers and I just push it and line it up with the pack and then show or whatever. So again, get in this position, and as you're shaking, you're just pulling this card back. Once you've gotten, once you've pulled it all the way back, you can show that the two that the card has disappeared. If you want to get it back, you can just do that very quickly. Uh, however, that will be explained in the second phase of Fontaine. Okay, that was the first phase of Fontaine. Um, I hope that you can get, got that down with some ease. Uh, if not, keep practicing it. It takes uh, a bit of time to get the knacky grip down, but once you got it, it's an amazing trick. Um, so if you got this, we'll move on to phase two of the Fontaine effect. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause so phase two of the effect, um, he shows you I don't want to completely reveal his tutorial because that is completely unfair, um, but he shows you how to select how they select a card and then get it forth from the top or whatever. But if you don't want to do that, you can just, you can create your own routine after, but you want to get a break under the top four cards. So you've got a jack, a red jack, the joker face up, another red jack, and a random card. Get a break under those and then just take those four cards and get rid of the rest of the pack. So now you've got these four cards and only show three, be careful as you're showing not to do that. So push the joker up and kick it just like this so you can grab on in a sort of like a biddle grip, okay? Then you take the, the uh, you just lift the top card and extend everything just like so. You can do this if you want, if not it is not necessary. Uh, just kind of gives this good little little flourish. And uh, once you've gotten that, square them back up again. Take one. And then as you take the second one, here's the hard part. Um, you might want to watch phase three before this one because this is even harder than phase three. But you want to already get your ring finger in this position to do the move. Because before you set it down, you want you want to get your ring finger in this position because as you as you set the you're gonna set the pack down literally on your ring finger, like you're sandwiching it. And then you only pull off the first card. So now it should look like you've got your ring finger sandwiched. Um, just like so. Okay. So again, to go over that, take one, take two. But as you take the second, um, pinch it tightly between the fleshy part of your palm and your middle finger so you can just push off one card and not like reveal these uh, the double packet under. So once you do that, you grab the second card, put the, the two cards onto your ring finger just like this, and then slowly slide out the other one. From here, uh, this is from here. This is really knacky move. But again, you just shake, and as you're pulling this card, it looks like it flipped itself over, right? Again, you want to square it up, and then you want to grab it and just dealer's grip, just like so. These three 
uh, fingers contacting this uh, card and then your thumb just pushing down on the top card. As you're shaking it, all you're doing is pushing your thumb forward and bringing these three fingers backwards and it'll create the effect that the Joker uh, has turned itself back over. So again, to start, to start back uh, when you do the like flipping motion, score up the pack, grab it in dealer's grip, just like so. And as you're shaking, you'll notice that these two cards will align each other. The Joker will stay in the middle, and then uh, the first face down card will just be like that, just like a sandwich. Zach Mueller is perfect at this move. I am not very good at it. Um, but, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe it'll be easy for you guys. So when you flip the card face down, that was, that was horrendous. Ooh, yikes. When you flip the card face down, get it back into dealer's grip, and as you're shaking it, keep shaking it, give yourself a little time to align the card so that when you're done, it'll look something like this. You then can square the pack up, and that's phase two. Let's get on to phase three of Fontaine. You can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby. Phase three of Fontaine uh, is where you get a break under the top four cards. Um, however, the, you want the jack on top, the a random card second, a joker third, and the other jack fourth. Um, again, when you're done, when I'm done teaching you this uh, phase three, then you can find a way to somehow incorporate those into the routine. However, I do not want to give away Zach Mueller's routine um, because then basically I'm revealing his seven dollar trick, even though I'm technically already doing that. Anyways, okay, so to move on. Um, when you've got a break under these four cards, you want to, again, set the rest of the pack aside if you want. There's one extra effect where a card, if you've seen it in his trailer, pops out from the deck. But again, I'm not going to reveal that. I'm just going to reveal the three moves so you can incorporate those into your own routine, like I've said 20,000 times. You want to flip the pack over. Again, like I've done before, grab one card, grab one card, and then set it on top. You don't want to push off the next card because it's a random card. So grab one card, set it on top. Just like this, and then with the four fingers, slide out the other card so it looks like that. So now you've got a packet of two. Uh, you've got another card behind the Joker, and you've got the two red jacks. Okay, so from there, you simply shake, and again, you're just pulling this card back. However, because the Joker's there, it looks like nothing's really happening. However, when you reveal this, you can see that that the it looks like it's disappeared. It looks really na it looks really uh, hypnotic almost. Again, to start over, take the jack on the Joker and do the Fontaine move, and then you can reveal. And as you're showing, uh, I'm going to show from the back side. As you're showing, let's say the spectator is over there. Uh, as you're showing that the card has disappeared, you're simply pushing this this Joker in, but you want to push it in directly in the middle. Because if you push it in from the side, um, here's what it looks like. It looks awful. If you push it in from the side, it will go like this. And the spectator can see that it's coming out. I always have problems with that. So just make sure that that doesn't happen. So again, you're showing it to them. And just push it in from the middle so that they can't see anything is popped out. Again, that will take a little bit of practice. Once you've gotten that, again, um, you can score it up with this part of your palm just by pushing it like this. Or if you do what I like to do, which is more of a beginner's thing, just come in with these two fingers, just push them like that. And you can show the two cards. Again, The um, just keep this one in motion because they might see that it's a packet of three and it's quite thick. Other than that, um, this card is just a loan card. And then this card is pack of three, just go like that, take out the bottom card, and then from there, I mean, you can do really whatever you want. Anyways, guys, um, those are the three phases of Fontaine. If I was missing something other than what I've already told you was missing, um, please tell me, um, because I do want this to be a complete tutorial. And I don't want you guys to be confused like I have been on some of my on some of the other tutorials that I've watched um, of different effects. 
Um, give me your feedback down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and contest at 100 subscribers. Thanks, guys.